Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're going to be doing another version of Jupe Plays All the Games, this time with the Mini LD58. The Mini LD58's theme is Pong, like the old game Pong. Um, and it was held by Bitslap. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so there's about uh, 200 and something submissions. That's a fucking hell of a lot of games for the Mini LD. But I'm playing all of them, each one for about a minute, 10 per video. If you'd like to play any of the individual games in the video, links in the description. All my info is in the description, so you can check me out if you want to check me out. I'll also be picking some of my favorites and writing an article about them. That'll be linked in the video whenever that gets done after I finish playing all of them. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Yep. Next. Next, we're playing the game Pixel Pong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I failed that badly. This game's also on an Android. I'm playing the web version because I can. This is hard. I like the little skull that happens. So that's really adorable. Fuck. This is so challenging. Damn it. My best score is three because I suck. Are we doing good? Okay. Ten, the background changed. Eleven. Fourteen. Am I getting like a bonus? Sixteen. Eighteen. Beat this score. Damn. <laughs> Next. Next, we're playing the game Plonk, which we've clearly just lost. Okay, so green. Oh. Okay, this is quite cool. You gotta get it in the right color. Oh, shit. Yeah. These are quite challenging little games, these last couple. Shit, I couldn't remember how to, like, turn it back. This is really hard. Ugh. Oh, I should have got that. Okay, blue, red, no. How do I make you go the right way to green? It's kind of weird the way it falls, you know? How it, like, spins towards... Doing great. Okay. Got them. There we go. Ugh, next. Next, we're playing the game POJ. There's a two player game, so ISWK, space to pause. Okay. Oh, I didn't expect it to, like. There's no line up there, so it's like, I'm not. What the? It's like randomly just. Bouncing? That's definitely. Oh, I thought it was gonna bounce down again. That definitely puts a challenge on Pong. That's set back to zero because of how badly they played. This is just like difficult. Oh, it's always the opposite of where you think it's gonna go. I thought it was gonna go down again. Oh. Alright, we're doing better. God damn it. Oh, it seems to go back up. Just keeps changing color, that's pretty cool. Next Next we're playing the game Pong. Next few games are probably gonna be named Pong. I'm doing stuff by alphabetical. This is a two player game. Oh, it's got like that wrap around. That's cool. I like the cute little lizard. Ah, uh, look at the other, like, one of me has a lot of points because the game started before I actually wanted to start. It was like forever in limbo. I think the sound stopped. It was done being done.
Oh, so the sound's only when it hits the outside rings. Is it like, is it? Oh, it's like literally hitting the walls down. That's quite interesting. Huh, next. Next we're playing the game Pong. It's like just a very simple Pong game. Well made though. You got a scoreboard, Pong paddles, a ball, what more can you ask for? Alright. Next. Next, we're playing the game Pong. Okay, WS in space. Pretty simple. I like the green so far. This green vibe is pretty great. Green's one of my favorite colors, other than purple. Purple's my first favorite, and green's my second favorite. When I was a kid, green was my first favorite. Still am a kid, but when I was like really little and fussy about things. We're getting points for just like going back and forth. So there's like a number at the bottom, it's just kind of counting up. This AI is almost better than me at Pong. <laughs> A little counter went down again. I wonder what happens if it gets a high number. Or is it just showing how much, how many times we've volleyed back and forth? Yeah, yeah! So I caught one. Next, playing another game titled Pong. All right, so this is a two-player game. It's only one of me. Neither of this is AI. It's a very simple Pong game. I think this is the last game called Pong. I think actually there's a mobile game called Pong, but I'm going to play that mobile. Considering Pong was the theme of the jam, I'm surprised there wasn't more Pong titled games. Oh, I've lost. Next. Next, we're playing the game Pong 2X. Play one player W one player W T Oh so we're like Oh that's a bit okay. What was the down button All right G? So there's like two Pong paddles. This is quite the game. I kinda like the idea of having two Pong paddles, although my brain is not quite capable to control two Pong paddles at once. This just would be like co op Pong. <laughs> I don't need to. I'll beat them with one. And one standing still. There we go. Doing pretty good at this. I like the slight color, like, illumination around the pong paddle and the ball. And just this little trail of, like, light that happens as the ball moves. It's very nice. Some very nice touches. Next. Next, we're playing the game Pong Arcade. It looks like it uses a VR or something. I just don't have one. It's a little bit too big for my screen, so that also isn't happening. Um, did I select a mode? It says select a mode, but I just don't. I tried clicking and pressing buttons. There's no instructions, and it looks like the logo is still hidden in this crack behind the thing. Um, so, play versus CPU. I want to play versus CPU. That's what I want to do. I don't know if the VR has special things, or... I tried refreshing the page a couple of times. You might just need to use a VR to do it. I don't really know. So if you have a virtual reality helmet, and, or helmet, if you have a virtual reality thing, and you want to check out this game, do it. Next. Next, we're playing the game Pong S2. Difficulty can be medium. Oh, oh, how do I move the paddle? Oh, it's mouse to move the paddle, for the record. It's a simple Pong game, I guess, only made in a few minutes, really. Um, yeah. Swear I should have gotten a score for that. And probably that. 
Yay! I bet you it's a lot smoother if I'm not recording it. Some games, especially games that are hosted on new grounds, for whatever reason, uh, seem to be a lot smoother when I'm record when I'm not recording. So I don't know. Next. <laughs>